Boys and girls, boys and girls, we are on what I like to call an afternoon send, which means that I went and picked this old man up at his house and, and we're fishing in the afternoon. You get it? It's an afternoon send. But yeah, that's what's up. Went to work today. You know, it's not one of those days where I have off or anything like that. It's just a beautiful Wednesday afternoon, Thursday afternoon. What day is it? Yeah, Thursday. Thursday afternoon, and here we are on. Uh, I think. I think too. Yeah, on uh, beautiful Fort Loudon Lake is actually where we're at. Yeah, I never usually say the lake name, but that's where we're at, and we're doing a little bit of flipping. Um, it is April something, and the water's 66 and a half degrees, and that means that there should be some big, green, thick mamas laying up on the bank that want to eat a structure bug and a flipping bite and a jig and a wacky rig and all the things I like to catch them on. And so we're here. We're going to see what we can do. We're going to see what we can get done and uh, see what we can make out of this full afternoon into the evening send. And uh, yeah, dad, thoughts, comments, concerns? Watercolor's good. Time of year's right. It ought to be on. And there's two good looking rud boys standing in the front of this boat. Yeah, all right. See y'all in a bit. He goes, I didn't know you flipped with your left hand. He said, how'd you teach yourself how to do that? I said, I didn't, dude. I said, that's, I've been flipping my left hand. So when I picked up flip. There you go. There we go. That was off the bike a little bit. Yeah. He tiny. Tiny. He's a giant. Go grow up. Get bigger. Hey, hey. Yeah, I do too. I can kind of feel a little nip in the air, can't you? That's a better one. Oh, yeah. Is that on here? No, Texas Rick. Yeah, that's a good one, huh? Come here, you. You done? Right there. there we go. You on that log? No, he's out there, dude. He's out there in the middle on nothing. Heck yeah. It's not so healthy. It's a little fish. It's a little fish. That's nice a little fish. They call him Chunky Chunky because he built real Chunky Chunky. Love it. Makes me happy. Makes me real happy, boys. I like that. You like that? It's nice. About five or six rows. That'd be nice. Yeah, it would. Flipping this little number right here. This is actually smoke purple. It's a new color this year from smoke Strike King. It's so good, man. Smoke purple, dyeing the tips with some chartreuse little 3 16th ounce beast coast weight and i mean son just threw it in there and he went and i went Whick. put him in the boat yeah but uh i enjoyed watching it i enjoyed doing it the, you ain't gonna catch shit right there now nah, probably not because that guy's been putting rock in there all day <clears throat> hey you say that and there'll be a five pounder laying there yeah yeah I don't want my cricket. He's on a bed. Give me just a second. That fish is on a bed. That might be a big fish, dude. This one. Yep. Good job, dude. He got you, didn't he? That fish was on a bed or making one for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Good job, man. A little dinker. Heck yeah. I mean, I... Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't just like pump, pump, and go. Like, I'd drag it off a little bit. Okay. But we've, uh, both them fish that we just caught, I think they're trying to make beds is what they're trying to do because they're eating it real funny. Like, Dad flipped in on this one three times before it ate. Yeah. And so, I think this is that first wave, man. I don't even think this is... Oh, my God. There we go. Yeah, it is. Nope, I'm good. Yep, hold on. <laughs> I 
Worst landing job in the history of ever. Hey! So what's funny, guys, is Anthony, my buddy Anthony, you guys have seen him before. He is literally just right across the lake right there. And I was just on the phone with him telling him to get off the bank just to scotch because those dudes right there are off the bank just to scotch. So, yeah. Hi. Hey. Little way there, fish bump. Two and a half. Yeah, maybe pounding, pounding some change. Oh, let's get our eyes right on it. Let's see here. here Zeros. About to find out. Two two. Nice. So, if this one's two two, that other one was definitely three. So, yeah, a little bit better quality fish. All right, I'll holler at you, boys. All right, see you. Alrighty then. Man, hey. I'm all right with that. I'm all right with that. I can get down with that. Tell you what, boys and girls, I don't know if you've noticed or not because I've noticed gas is just a tad bit expensive. Uh, when you guys start paying dang near $3 a gallon, and if you live in California, like six, um, to, to fill your boat and your truck up, you know what you do? You do what we've done tonight and not turn that big motor on and just put the trolling motor down and go fishing and uh, catch fish. Dad's a perfect example of that back when he was tournament fishing, him and my uncle literally won how many? Nine out of 11. 11 out of how many? Nine out of 11. Nine out of 11 tournaments, never turning the big motor on with inside of the boat ramp. So yeah, this is like kayak fishing, boys. You just gotta fish with what you got because I'm not gonna spend a bunch of money to run all over creation when, uh, when gas is $3 a gallon cause. Back in it was sick. Yeah. I'm afraid we're on that way though. It's uh, I can remember when gas was four and five dollars a gallon. And it cost me eighty-five, ninety dollars to fill my truck up. I don't want to do that again. Watch out, Dad! Fantastic. Dude, that thing missed me by, by a quarter of an inch. What's the verdict, man? Do you leave any fish for us? Let's on that thing. Well, there's at least one right here. Look how spotted Texas. Yeah, that's cool looking, man. That is wicked. Look at that. Ate that thing swimming it, dude. That's awesome. Get here, bud. And we're back, back at home, back in the beer barn. Thought I'd take a second, kind of talk about what we were throwing and what we were throwing it on to catch the fish that we did and kind of what we were doing. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, this was a quick afternoon send. And really by quick afternoon, I mean like it was an evening trip. We got there probably 5.15, 5.30, fished till a little before dark. So we had about three hours of fishing. And honestly, for three hours of fishing, just a quick afternoon trip, it was pretty successful. Didn't catch any big fish, but I think the potential for big fish being there was getting right you know what i mean we had a 65 to 66 65 to 66 degree water temperatures which means those fish should be up there spawning they should be on the bed we had a real high spike in water temperatures it was one of those deals that they were pretty stable you know staying in those high 50s low 60s and then all of a sudden we just had a really dramatic spike because we had a prolonged period of warmer weather and then we had some warm rain come in and so it spiked that water really really high and i think that not all the fish are up there spawning yet i, I mean I know for a fact not all the fish are up there spawning yet. I really think that they're waiting on the moon and the sunlight to get right. And as soon as that happens, those bigger than average fish, those big females will move up and they'll start to eat. And we were just kind of intercepting those first few males that were moving up there, getting ready to start making their beds and doing that kind of thing. And we kept it super simple. Um, kind of did what we like to do in that portion of the lake, which is essentially the river. Bye-bye! I swear. Bye-bye! Can't make videos around this house, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I don't even know what to do with all these people. But anyway, doing what we like to do in that section of the river. It's essentially the river is what it is. And so super shallow. You know, we never got out of an average depth of probably two and a half to three feet the entire time we were there. And caught all our fish on a Strike King structure bug. Had that paired up with a four-aught 
EWG hook. I believe this is a tro car. It's whatever I got on sale. Throwing that on a 3 16 ounce Beast Coast Bomb R flipping weight. 17 pound fluorocarbon on this little 7.3, no 7.2 medium heavy fast action loose custom and a 7.5 gear ratio loose KVD. And check out that KVD reel. I've had a lot, a lot of questions about it. I absolutely love it. It's probably one of the smoothest, nicest reels in the Lose lineup, especially for the price point that you're getting at. But one big key thing on the structure bug that seemed that if we didn't do, we wouldn't get bites because we threw all kinds of different colors. I threw the smoke purple, which you guys saw in the video I kind of stopped and talked about. I threw moon juice. Dad threw chameleon. My buddy Anthony, I think, was throwing green pumpkin, purple swirl, and I think even Michael threw a different color than we did. But the thing that we all did to put fish in a boat was dye the tips of those claws chartreuse. And what that does is it makes it look more like a bluegill. If you've ever noticed bluegill swimming around in the water, that little tail of theirs is a very kind of chartreuse looking color. At least the bluegills around me are. I know bluegills up north kind of have that same look. And I think that a lot of those males, when they start to move up, and especially the females too, when they start to move up, they kind of get this trigger in their brain that anything that looks like a bluegill, they don't like it. And so they'll try to kill it. And you guys saw a couple times where I would flip in or dad would flip in and we would get several bites before we'd actually put the fish into the boat. And I think a lot of what that was was smaller males just kind of picking that thing up and running with it, trying to get it out of that general area where that bed was at. And so dyeing those tips of those tails and chartreuse, I think just helps to make it look like a bluegill, bluegill a little bit more, as well as just making it stand out in that little bit of dirtier water that we were fishing in. And, uh, yeah, I mean, put a couple quality fish in the boat. Nothing absolutely giant, but a fun afternoon trip nonetheless. And, you know, like I said, it was a fun trip for a couple reasons. Number one, I think that's the most realistic form of fishing for most of us, right? We get off work, we go pick up our partner or dad or wife or whoever it is. We go to the wa water for a couple hours and we have us a good time. And then number two, try not to spend a ton of gas because gas is super expensive right now. Just putting that trolling motor down fishing right there at the ramp and just kind of optimizing the time and the money that we have while we're on the water and just had a really good time. So questions or comments, you know where to go. Leave them go down in the comment section. Go leave me a comment. Uh, let me know what's up. Also go down in the description. I'll have everything that I used linked down below. And as always, Bobby, what do you think, buddy? Come here. Bobby. Bobby says you guys are sweet and we will see you later. Say bye, Bob. Bye, Bob.